Take a few steps back to get the best view of the window. It's called the Founder's Window. That's St. Patrick there in the center in a red robe, preaching to a group of peasants in Ireland. Below that, seated and wearing purple, you can see Archbishop Hughes. Back in the 1850s, he was the one who thought of building St. Patrick's Cathedral in the first place. It's hard to imagine, but when Archbishop Hughes chose this spot for the cathedral, this part of Manhattan was practically countryside. Hello, I'm Archbishop Hughes. Some people thought that I had made a foolish choice building a cathedral in the middle of nowhere. But I knew that the city would grow up around the cathedral, and it did. Today, it's our nation's largest Gothic Roman Catholic cathedral and takes up a whole city block. Of course, I had a lot of help turning my dream into reality. Here in this window, standing to my right, you can see the architect of the cathedral, James Renwick, showing me the layout of St. Patrick's. On the bottom right, look for the blue folder near my feet, filled with more of Renwick's plans. There's an image of it on your screen now. His name is even written on the outside. Take a look around. This cathedral is full of beautiful paintings, sculptures, and stained glass windows. These things could be found in churches hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Back then, most people didn't know how to read, so these images were used to tell religious stories and pictures instead of words. Now check out the carving in the wall above you. It's one of 14 carvings called the Stations of the Cross that tell the story of Jesus Christ's death. Christianity teaches that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came to earth to teach us about love and to save us from our sins. You're standing at the eighth station. It shows Jesus with his cross talking to a group of women he encountered before he died. He tells them not to cry over his suffering. Other stations throughout the cathedral show Jesus being sentenced to death, dying for our sins, and finally being laid in his tomb. We spend time in front of each station, saying special prayers and thinking about how Jesus suffered so that we could go to heaven. This is usually done during the time leading up to Easter, called Lent. On Easter itself, we celebrate how Jesus rose from the dead to live forever. Everywhere you look inside the cathedral, there are stories. The stained glass window just above this station shows the men who helped build St. Patrick's back in the 19th century. To hear this story, press play. <laughs> 